What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out for the first time an official um, Tom, Tom McDonald video um, or song I should say. But anyways, man, I'm trying to go through as many of the artists that you guys have suggested, checking out one or two songs from them today. So I have a ton of reactions to upload. So some of these are going to hit you late at night because I'm just going to just keep serving them up. Um, and then I will take more suggestions in later and see if I can get them done. Um, so today I'm trying to get as much out as possible. You guys have been suggesting stuff, subscribing all week, and I have to give a shout out to y'all, man, for coming over to the channel, showing some love by subscribing. Um, so as I said, man, I always give thanks. That's one of the things that I've learned to do over my years of living, man, is just to give thanks to people, even when they're being mean to you, just thank them. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 just a great thing to just give gratitude and it's never enough and people think oh you can say thank you you know what i'm saying like if somebody tells you you know you don't have to say thanks and that's fine but never forget to say thanks you know so this one here is white boy by top mcdonald this is the first official video i did listen to um what's the name of that song travelers with Upchurch, I did react to that earlier. He is on that track. I don't know if he did the second verse or third verse. As I said, this is the first time I'm officially listening to him. So I don't really know if he did the second verse, third verse, or if that was Struggle or not. But we're going to be checking him out. So based on me hearing his voice now, I might be able to determine if he went second or third on that song. That was a fire track, by the way. Make sure you go and check out that reaction. Today we're going to be checking out this dude, man. I don't know what this is going to be about. Um, um, so let's check them in. I noticed a lot of these guys, like they rep the American flag like crazy. So, um, so let's do this. Um, let's go check him out. Give him a round of applause. First time listening to top. Well, something like that. Anyways, let's go do this. Not feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose, and I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label. Hey, you talking facts right now? You see, the thing about I know you guys have heard me say that. I know, I know, I know, I know you guys have heard me say this before, and the reason why I said the reason why I, I so much of this like racism. It will never get better until b black people, and I'm not putting myself in this category, and it, I'm going to tell you guys why I'm not putting myself in this category. It's not because of the color of my skin, because I don't define myself by the color of my skin. Other people might do that to me or for me or how they want to relate to me, but I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. And the reason why I don't do that is because it's very limiting to my personality and who I am when you're just going to define me by the color of my skin. Yes, there are specific situations because of the color of my skin, but I do not let it define me. You get what I'm saying? Just like how I'm not going to define you by the color of your skin, whether you're white or whatever race you are, I'm not going to define you. Because of that, because you're a human being, everybody, there has to be some sense of individuality that we maintain. There has to be, man. And we have to treat others with the same. And I'm glad that he's saying this because he's like, dude, why are you treating me like I was the one that put your, your, your ancestors in a noose? It wasn't me, homie. It was not me. I'm glad that they coming out and they saying this and not afraid to say it. Racist cause I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed cause of my pretty blue eyes. And not some white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so 
pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say... The white race as a whole ain't the enemy There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively White boy, don't say oh. Ooh Tom Calm down, my guy Calm Down What is what, what guys what is going on today man let me look at my phone what is going what is going on today guys please i am begging you guys please tell me what's going on today because it seems like these it seems like they're tired they are tired of hearing it man and i am too I'm going to tell you, I'm, I've been saying this for years. I have been saying this for years, for years. People who know me, not just over YouTube, but people who know me, like I was, I've been saying this for years. I've said nothing is ever going to change unless this, unless these guys start speaking up and saying they're tired of it. It's not going to change. You cannot let one or two people define what, who an entire race is. Just like how you don't want people to look at you and be like, okay, you're like that. It's just like you're like that just because somebody did it before that looked like you. You don't want people to think like that about you, so why are you doing the same to them? You get what I'm saying? I love what he's saying. What he said in that verse, man. That's crazy. Let's pull that back. Let's get it, Tom. Because I'm Let's do it. Blue eyes, a Nazi, white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white mm. devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You no, can you're not. What you want, but I'd still never say. The white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White yes, boy, sir. Let them know. Bad, white boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, dear white boy. on some cognac sitting next to me i don't assume that every black's favorite drink is hennessy i don't dislike tanisha because her first name isn't stephanie not only is that wrong it's a waste of energy ivory or ebony 45 or 17 we all i don't think i'm gonna get through this song called the man is speaking so much facts right now he's speaking so much facts who is this dude tom i've only listened to one minute and 30 seconds of your song, sir. And I'm already a fan. Because I don't judge people on how they look, man. It's not right. It's, it's just not. It's not. You don't judge people on what you see them doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I've had people that come up to me and be like, Oh, you shouldn't eat chicken in public because because you're black. I'm like, what? <laughs> what kind of dumb person would think that I care <laughs> that you see me eating chicken? Chicken is delicious. <laughs> so is watermelon. So is grape soda. <laughs> it's delicious. I don't care if you see me, if you want to stereotype me because of it. That's on you, bro. That is on you. I love that stuff. I also love Italian food. I also love Chinese food. I also, I like all types of food. But for you to judge me based on, and that's what I'm saying, what he's saying there, basically when he's saying, not because I see you, Drinking cognac is what, it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to assume that you love Hennessy. You get what I'm saying? It's just not right. Right? 
even though Hennessy is not is not a drink that I I I drink Hennessy, but I don't drink it like that. And it's always a lot of times I'll drink I drink Hennessy, but I'll chase it with like maybe like some some apple juice or uh, or Coke or something like that. Like, but when it comes to Hennessy, it's not something I drink all the time. It's not my favorite drink. My favorite beer is Heineken. You get what I'm saying, which is not a favorite of the typical black person. So a lot of people, when I say that my favorite beer is Heineken, which is something that I, I don't drink that often. I'm a casual drinker, like occasions if I, you know, go to like a house party or, or, or something like that where, you know, family get together or whatever, I might drink a beer. But it's not something that I don't go out and buy liquor and put in my fridge or whatever. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like... I'm a very casual drinker, and I kind of take care of my body. <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't want to say outright that I do. But anyways, man, Tom, you killing him right now. You killing him right now. Let's bring that Batman. If a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy yes ivory or ebony 45 or 17 we all bleed to say martin luther king or kennedy they're angry i'm reciting the facts he's white and he raps he stole the culture right from the facts okay he's fire but we lit the flame he's siphoning gas so this corny little honky man the whitey is whack you letting history perpetuate the hatred within and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with yeah white boy don't say that white boy, so true oh, man so white boy I got a mother, a father, a sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby, so go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who built the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. Mm. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave and neither did our dads or our dad's dads. Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed. It's all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your communities with drugs that they spoil. Got no patience mm. for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. Now fighting hatred with hatred, making the hate more intense i don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence so don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head hate the people who believe you put Damn. yourselves in the ghetto hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being yo what he just said it hit me it hit me hard because the thing about it is this like i've heard i have um plenty of I know it's a typical kind of thing to say but I do have a lot of white friends friends that just happen to be white let's just say it like that right and I remember one time one of my friends is a girl she had her hair in braids and one of needless to say me and this girl is not friends anymore not the white one, the black one that I'm about to talk about. Um, she had a problem with my white friend that had braids. They're like, oh, dear, she's appropriating our culture. Um, everything we have, we can't have nothing for us. That's just for us. I'm like, it's a damn hairstyle. Why is this only for black people? Why is the hairstyle only for black people? It's a, you know, the stuff that you should own as a culture 
you guys don't own it. The stuff that you should actually be owning that actually has substance to it, you don't want it. But a hairstyle, oh yeah, let's make an argument out of that. Let's make a big deal out of braids and cornrows. That's what would... <laughs> You know, um... <laughs> the fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely. Because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. Being white and being racist aren't the same, man, I promise. No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem. And you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in common. White yes. Boy, don't say that, white boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy. I love oh, this song. you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. Dear white boy. Oh my God. Brilliant. Absolute brilliance, man, is all I have to say about this track. <sighs> Talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. I love when they come out and they get frustrated, man. You know how many times... You know what I'm saying? My friends, they have come up to me and be like, I don't understand. And I have to be telling them, you know, I have to be trying to explain, explain it to them. Explain the blackness. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to be explaining blackness. Why do I need to explain blackness? I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. And it's I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this um, when it comes on to or to a white person. I'm saying, why do I need to explain blackness? Because I shouldn't have to. Because I'm just I'm just an individual. I'm just a individual. I want you to know about me as a person, not about what my skin represents. I don't want to have to explain what my skin represents. I don't want to. And they, they're coming to me based on an experience that they've had. That's the scary thing about it. Because of an experience they've had with another black person. That has probably never heard them out. That they don't understand what they did wrong. When in actuality, they probably didn't do anything wrong. But you made them feel, felt like they did something so wrong. I don't want nobody tiptoeing around me, man. I don't want nobody tiptoeing around me. Be yourself. Be yourself. The entirety of it. I don't want people fake it with me. Like if you want to be real, if you want to if you want to come up to me as a white person and say, "Yo, what's good, bro?" Like there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to tell you, "Oh, don't talk like that to me. You're appropriating black culture." Like that's so stupid. It's so dumb, man. And I, I you on you don't on you don't, you guys don't get how frustrating it is when when these things happen and you oh oh it's not like I've never experienced um racism towards me before. That is so not it because this has happened multiple times since I've been here in the states. But I don't take it to heart, man, because I will never look at that and say all white people are like this because that's stupid it's just like how i'm describing in the video when i'm saying that um when it you don't want anyone to say just because you're doing this then th that's everybody's doing everybody in that race is doing that right yes people say ignorant stuff to me yes they do they do say ignorant stuff they do say stuff that i don't agree with but do i go and 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 look at the next person that looks like them and be like oh you're the same way why would i do that when i don't want them to do that to me 
Why would you do that as another black person if you don't want them to do that to you? If you don't want, if you don't want them to, and it's not about association because if you're going to go to the argument of, oh, just because I'm black, they're going to associate. No. Yes, you have some people that do that, but don't let that define you, man. Because I will never, ever in the history, I will never, ever let that define who i am never ever i will always strive to be better and be greater and to do things the way how i see it, how i see fit of how it's supposed to be done more love we need more love man we need more love this man is rap about uh, rapping about his truth right here he's laying his heart down for you to understand where he's coming from man He's frustrated. Because it's, 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 it. Let me end this video because I could go on and talk about this stuff for days because it's, it, it's so, I'm so happy on top of this. I'm so happy that I, that you have artists like this that is out there just letting you understand that we need more love. Stop judging me based on something that happened so long ago. Yes, it still affects us as a people i'm not saying it doesn't it does but at the same time for me to look at another white person and be like oh your grandfather did this so that's you now that's no that is dumb it is stupid it is ignorant it is all the words that you can think of i can find adjectives for days to describe that kind of behavior i hate it i hate that kind of behavior because it doesn't solve anything all right, so I did white boy, and then I went back to the search results, and I saw that this house is a white boy response. I don't know what this is about. It's by Tom McDonald, but what I'm um, I went back to look at the person that suggested um that I the comment that I saw that suggested Tom McDonald um did talk about did say this but i didn't see it but i did see the response and i just clicked on it and i said let me just add this to this video because that's what he suggested me to do i don't know if it's a he or she so don't <laughs> i just automatically go to he but um if you are a girl i apologize <laughs> anyways but um this suggests that i react to both of these together so i'm just gonna add this on to the video um, so you will see this commentary, but anyways, man, let's go check this out and see what this is all about. Um, basically, um, what the person said was basically that this was a response to all the hate that he got from white boy, which I have to say, man, people are so ignorant today. It's, it's to the point where they just, everybody, let's just go check out this track. Cause you know, how are you going to hate on what this guy is saying in that song? How do you hate that? And all he's asking you for to do is just give him a chance to show you who he is. And stop judging him based on stuff, based on other people's actions. How can you hate that? Let's do this, man. I hope he torches you guys. Stop making Lately, music. everyone been talking wow. crazy. Feel like everybody's got some to say. They misinterpreted my good intentions and expected I was just gonna step away. If there's a heart to pump and there's a breath to take, then I won't bite my tongue as long as I'm awake and they don't have the guts to make a dumb mistake. I'd rather crash a car than never touch the brakes. I built this in house. They're the kind of people that be dying for exposure. They're the kind of people that get mad and lose composure. They're the kind of people that are never going forward. They're just the ones, the ones that are looking for apologies. Hating real loud, but they follow me. Screaming at the top of their lungs. I'm the scum of the earth in the same damn breath trying to preach about equality. Back before I wrote the song on race, they all ignored that I had something great. They tried to edge me out. They didn't hear my bars. They tried to tell me that I wasn't built for fame. Fast forward to when I'm paid. I ain't spent a dollar on the chain. I'll get my mama house. I'll get my dad a car. I'll make my sister rich. She'll never work again. And this hater is so underwhelming. I'm conditioned for all the abuse. Seeing the reaction videos all blowing up and you're welcome for all of the views. Blow up my Twitter. Y'all just keep making me bigger. Y'all just keep showing you triggered. Y'all just keep missing the point and I keep doing me. I ain't nothing to even consider. Man, I built this house. I'm the kind of person making music with a purpose. You the kind of people that be hating on the surface. I'm the kind of you ain't used to. The kind of
make you nervous, yeah. Back before I even wrote the record, I can see this coming like a fortune teller. Rent a calm sea, don't make a skilled sailor, so I thank the heavens for the stormy weather. Okay, fast forward to when we're old and gray. I'll be looking back at when they posted hate, and it will hurt a bit, but it was worth it when your dream is getting hurt, no matter what they say. I try conveying that I love us all, and the way I did it left them so appalled. I used a broken arm to try and break their walls, no matter what they say, they know it took balls. I surveyed the land, yes, and I found did. a location, unloaded the lumber, and pounded the stakes, and I blended the bones of the people who hated with blood and cement, and I poured the foundation, I built the frame with all my guilt and shame, and then I chiseled my name in the date in the basement. I carved my initials and all of the boards and the beams that are needed for structural greatness. No record label, no distribution, no cosign, no publicist, no manager. This guy just built a house on y'all, man. <laughs> he just built a house and put his name on it. Bruh, let's do this, man. Talk, don't, don't go easy on him, man. Give him bars. Give him bars. Give him truth. That's how you kill the haters, man. That's how you kill the haters. That's how you shut them up. You give them truth. They can't deny the truth. The truth will be the truth. Can they handle it, though? Surveyed the land and I found a location, unloaded the lumber and pounded the stakes and I blended the bones of the people who hated with blood and cement and I poured the foundation, I built the frame with all my guilt and shame and then I chiseled my name and the date in the basement, I carved my initials and all of the boards and the beams that are needed for structural greatness. No record label, no distribution, no cosign, no publicist, no manager, no teammates, no money to make up my budget with, no groceries, no studio, no booking agent, no bucket list, no PR, no marketing, just fans. Man, we built this f***ing house where my days end and it's vacant and they bury me with that only key. My biggest fans gonna break in with a Ouija board and a box of chalk, drop pentagram, hail Satan. Try to bring me back from that wooden box y'all tried to fill my grave with. Then they'll sit on the mm -hmm. roof with the rifles I hid in the fridge and they'll shoot at the men on the ridge who are coming to undo the work that I did. Then they'll block off the highway that leads to the crib and put sensors on all of the boards and the bridge so they know when they're coming to empty the clip. Then they'll cut all the bodies and cut off the skin. They connect all the pieces with needles and pins and attach it to 10 feet of branches and twigs and then plant it in mud till it stands in the wind and i'll stand there and look at this that we did that we never imagined we do because of them our blood and sweat and tears went into what we built till we were bags so we use blood and sweat and tears of enemies to build our flag we built this house we laid these bricks we set these traps these flames we lit our haters doused in gasoline they brought to try and torture us with <laughs> let them hate dog everyone will have something to say dog their opinions don't mean trying to judge your engine by your paint job gravestone mm. i'm a cheap death there's too much i ain't seen yet they think that i got him way over my head but i feel like i just got my feet Wet. We're trying to dream more and sleep less. Avoid the pills when we're depressed. Remember to not be too hard on ourselves. If we cut deep enough, we up the bread. Man, you never know when it's time to go. Heaven's open when the bars are closed. So seize the moment. Don't leave it hoping you'll breed tomorrow. You could be a ghost. I'm living mine like the finish line is right in front of me. Made a fishing wire, so I'll never see it till it's too late. When God shakes my hand, please celebrate. Please celebrate. Please celebrate. Please celebrate. Please celebrate. Please celebrate. Nice. Nice response, man. Nice response. Shut up the haters. Let them know you're here to stay. Don't back down. I hate when people speak their truth and they get attacked. People want to cancel them. <laughs> you know? And... Black people, they, you know, there's so many factions out there, man, that they, they want equality and they... They want equality, but they themselves don't really want equality. You know what I'm saying? They go about it in the wrong way. They don't understand that if you want equality, that means that you have to hold other people in at the same level that you want to be or that you are at, right? So the, the problem comes in when... When people speak their truth, regardless of what race they are, you have to accept that truth. You can't deny them of their truth. That makes you look dumb. You get what I'm saying? In that song, White Boy, that song was basically the man saying, listen, I understand everything. I understand your culture, but for you to... To look at me and think that I am racist just because I'm white is kind of like how the cops look at black people and it, in, in some unbelievable way, you know, it just kind of comes off like they want to kill us just because of the color of our skin. 
I don't think that's even it. I just really believe like anybody asks me about that. I don't think they want to just kill black people. I really don't think that that's what it is. I really do believe that these cops are just, they're just too afraid of everything. You know, and they just, for some reason, they just see black people as this threat because they just have this concept in their, their head that all black people are violent for some reason. I don't know what it is. And I, 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 for, I just can't go all the way to say that cops are racist because it's a very select few. I don't think that the chief of police is out there telling his guys to go out there and look for black people to kill. I don't, I can't believe that. The day I start believing that is a day that I'm probably going to lose it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that there is not a certain fear every time I I, I jump into my whip. I, I, I'm not saying that that ain't there because I do fear that I'm, I've been in that situation. I've been pulled over before. You get what I'm saying? And I do everything thing to the letter to not be in trouble. I follow exactly what, you know, the, 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 the policeman is telling me to do, right? Don't try to reach for nothing and stuff like that. Don't, don't act up, be on your best behavior, which is how anybody should act when they get pulled over. It's not anything foreign. I know that there are situations out there where, it just seems wrong. And I'm not saying that they, the cops were wrong because I'm I'm really upset when they kill people for no reason or over stupidity or not. There's no even. <sighs> it's tough sometimes for me because I'm black and it may seem like I'm betraying my own my own my own people by saying stuff like this. But I just want to be. So I want to be as objective as possible because beyond the scope of me just understanding what my people go through, I also have to consider the fact that, you know, that they are white people that do care about us. I cannot just say, man, F all white people and all of this other stuff. I'm not about that. I'm about how can we work to get this to stop? That's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. I'm not about to, to look on a regular person or a kid, a white kid, and be like, oh, you're going to grow up to hate black people just because they're just walking in the street and playing. Racism is taught. It is not born with, okay? It is something that is taught. Kids are not born racist. But anyways... I digress. <laughs> Anyways, man, thank you guys so much for checking out the reaction, man. This was a long one. This is probably going to be around 30 minutes, but I don't care. I had a lot to say. It's two tracks. But thank you guys for checking these videos out, man. Tom, you a real one. You definitely have a fan in me, man. You got the bars. I definitely hear the bars, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be giving you a nickname, but I definitely will be checking more of your music out, man. Thank you guys so much, man. If you're checking this video out, gratitude is never enough. And I will, I will tell you guys this. I can see why he's controversial. I can see that, you know, so <laughs> It's only going to, it, to me, it, when it comes to him, it's only going to get, if he keeps doing music like this, just keep hitting them with the truth. Eventually, they're going to realize what's good. You get what I'm saying? If we can embrace an artist like NF, we can embrace Tom. We can embrace Tom. You know? I'm pretty sure maybe... NF does have a bigger white audience than he does a black audi audience, but still, who cares? <laughs> you know, who cares, man? Music is music, and we hear we here for the bars, man. We here to 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 hear the bars. So thank you guys so much, man. 
like subscribe if you're new if you want to see more tom let me know in the comment section man tommy mcdonald man i don't know if i want to call him tommy mcdonald or just tom mcdonald you probably don't like to be called tommy but anyways thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the next one peace